Hi, this video guide shows you step by step how to clone the repository, build the bootload as an application, and effectively, very simply, use the Microtasker project with MCU Expresso. The first thing that we do is define a project directory where we'd like to clone the project to. Now I use Tortoise Git, so I clone the repository like this. That's the address of the repository, just say OK. And now I have the Microtasker project on my PC. This is the root of the project. Now I'm starting MCU Expresso IDE. It's asked me for a workspace, so I've chosen this. And I launch. And I close the welcome page by clicking on IDE. I recommend that you install the SDK for the board that you're going to be working with because it ensures that the IDE has all of the debug drivers for it. We're going to be building today for the RT1020 board. Before I import the Microtasker project into this IDE, there's one thing that I need to prepare. I go back to my root directory and I move to the project in applications called Microtasker v1.4 and I look down here to find the MCU Expresso IMX folder. In this folder we have project settings. So I make a copy of all of the project settings, in fact without the readme, and I copy this up to my root directory and I paste it there. That ensures that I have the correct MCU Expresso project. Back in MCU Expresso, I can say import projects. I choose general existing project into the workspace. And now I select my root directory again. Once I hit the enter key, you'll see that it will appear in the project list. That's all we need to do. We just say finish. Now we have the Microtasker project imported into MCU Expresso. We start now by building the bare minimum bootloader. We can find this target when we look into the target list and we can choose Utasker boot. I'm going to stop this building though, because first of all, I want to check that the settings are correct. I do a right click to get the context menu, select property, and then I check that the correct processor is configured. At the moment I have the 1062 and for this build I want to use the 1021. So now I've selected the correct processor and now I know that I have the correct target set up for the board that I want to build for. I go into the application directory and we see that the Microtasker boot folder is highlighted because that is the project which we're going to be building because I've selected its target. What I do is go into the config.h file and I'm going to verify that my board type is correctly set up. Here I find a list of supported boards where the 1060 is presently configured. I comment out the 1060 and I choose instead the 1020. Now I can build and we see that it's finished. I move now into the application folder and then the Microtask boot folder and I search now for the MCU Expresso underscore IMX output directory. And here I find the binary file which has been generated for me. For the moment we do nothing with this because we next need to build the fallback bootloader. Back in MCU Expresso I now choose the serial boot target. Again, I'm going to stop this because first I want to check that the settings are correct. So now I move into the Microtasker serial boot directory where I find its config.h file. Again, I find that the board is presently set up for the 1060. So I comment this out and I comment in the 1020. In this case, I have to first select also the fallback serial loader mode. Here we can see that there are secret keys and AES256 keys which could be changed for the project. At the moment, I'm going to leave everything at their defaults. 
Now, when I'm building the fallback serial loader, I want to have a USB device and also um, a serial interface. So I'm just going to make sure that that is set up correctly by checking for USB interface, which is defined. And I see that I have a device loader enabled, which is correct. That's the configuration I want. So there's nothing more stopping me to simply building this project. Again, we have a successful completion. Looking on our hard drive, we now move into the applications, Microtask it serial bootloader folder, and again in its MCU Expresso IMX subdirectory, where we find the generated binaries. The, bi the binary which is of interest to us is this one here, Microtasker Boot Loader Image, which is a combined version of the bare minimum bootloader that we initially built and the fallback serial loader which we've just built. Although I'm not going to show this, I'm now going to load this to my board. Exactly how you can do that is seen in other videos in this series. This is my TerraTerm window and I'm going to start the board which also appears as this external hard drive. Back in MCU Expresso, I now configure for the user's serial loader by commenting out the fallback serial loader. To keep this simple, I'm going to use, however, the exact same configuration when I build. So now I can build the user's serial loader. After the successful build, we now find in our directory that we have a new Microtask serial loader upload bin. Now that's the one which I can now upload to the board. To do that, I just simply do a drag and drop onto the fallback disk. Now we've moved from the fallback loader into the serial loader and we see that we have an uploader disk which allows us then to upload applications. Back in MCU Expresso, I now choose the application target. The one that I choose is this one. I choose the Microtask V1.4 BMITC, which is the encrypted application which will run exclusively in internal memory. Again, I cancel the build for the moment until I've checked that the settings are correct for my board. I find config.h from the application. Again, we had the 1060 active, so I disable that. I configure for the 1020. Now, there are many configurations in this for the application, but I'm just going to trust that I've got a basic one which is going to show us um, reasonable operation. So now I can build the application. Again, the build was successful. And if I look in my directory, now it's in applications, Microtask V1.4, MCU Expresso IMX, and the output was here. So there I'll find my encrypted application, which I can now upload to the board. Now we have the application running. Normally the bootloaders only need to be built and programmed once and afterwards developers can profit from the simple loading of the application. And I hope it has shown how simple it is to build the Microtask bootloaders and application with MCU Expresso.